Welcome back to Face the Nation. Perhaps one of the most surprising enterprises for a former prisoner of war in Vietnam were Senator John McCain's efforts to make peace there and his partnership with a fellow veteran and protester of that war, Massachusetts Democratic Senator John Kerry. Kerry writes about it in his upcoming memoir, Every Day is Extra. I write a lot about John McCain and my journey uh, in reaching back to Vietnam because that story is a story of keeping faith with soldiers. It's a story of keeping faith with the American people. But it's also a story of two guys who had a different point of view about a major event in American history who found a way to come together. So a POW and a protester mm -hmm. found a way to be able to make the system work and to work together and find common ground what's happening in the country and the notion that my journey, I believe, is relevant to how we try to fix our country, how, you know, you can't, you don't just speak out, which I did quite forcefully, but you work to implement our democracy by uh, reaching out across the aisle, by building relationships, by believing in the better angels of American value system. And I think John McCain did that. It's the journey we all went through where, Vietnam tore the country apart. John McCain and I had differences in how we found each other's common ground on an airplane flying to Kuwait. You said that was one of the most consequential conversations of your entire career in Absolutely. Congress. Absolutely. Why? Well, because it resulted in this partnership, which sometimes had tensions, but which got things done. You say at one point you even considered, played with the idea at least, of well, we sat partnering down. with him We sat as a down and mate. talked, but... Uh, there were difficult issues to try to work out. You know, we kind of flirted, but didn't go on a date. <laughs> He's an incredibly courageous and strong individual. He's a very special, uh, very special patriot. We'll hear more from former Senator Kerry about his book, Every Day's Extra, next Sunday on Face the Nation and CBS Sunday Morning. We'll be right back.